Hello, lieutenants, economists, agents of the field. I say, why am I down here? Why am I looking up like I'm a little kid? Looking up at you driving. Well, uh, it's because I'm in a different vehicle and the, the seat didn't work quite well. And I'm like, oh, I have to do a video today. You know, you got you got your chore list, your to-do list. And if you could just combine it, and I say, hey, maybe if I put the camera right on the on the laptop case and angle it up, and I think it, yeah, I'm still in the picture. There I am. I'm still here. Yay. Uh, here's here's why. <laughs> And again, you uh, regular viewers don't have to view this, but I, I want to start making jumps into the other camp. I want to start addressing other people because after after look, common sense and intelligence and intellectual honesty will only go so far. But if once you have that, you can pretty much figure out anything on your own. I might be able to point out a thing or two to you, but uh, if you have those things, you you really don't need me. So I'm trying to like talk to people who are leftists, who are younger, who don't know any better. Uh, ladies who think that uh, you know uh, dating is is what uh, Cosmo tell you it is and all that. So today we're going to talk about child psychology majors. Right now, aside from elementary education, it was like this when I was younger, and I think it is still the case today. All you girls are going to go major in child psychology. Right now, I'm trying to help you. Right, so it's, it's going to be harsh. I know your parents are absent. I know they're physically there. But the act of parenting is absolutely gone. It doesn't, it's, they're not there telling you what you need to be told because they're afraid they're going to hurt your feelings and then your mother won't be your BFF anymore. And, uh, you know, we can't have you, you know, have parents. We need BFFs. We need 45, 50 year old BFFs. That's what we need. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to substitute for your parents and tell you what you need to hear. Uh, look, <clears throat> let's be honest why you're choosing child psychology. You're choosing it because you don't like math. That deep down in your core, if you were to be honest with yourself, if you were to be an adult, which you're going to be asked to do anyway, um, <clears throat> you're going to say, well, I like children and psychology. That seems like it avoids math. That seems easy. I'm a kind of child psychologist. All right. And here's what's great about child psychology is you need at minimum a master's to get any kind of employment any kind of uh, 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 return on your investment. And if you really want to do a good job of it, you got to get a doctorate. And even then, for a doctorate, you could go major in a lot of other things that'll pay more. But again, it's your fee. You don't want to work hard. You don't want. You don't want to try hard. You don't want to do anything hard. You're the type that you you had trouble. Well, here's the deal. Did you have trouble with regular algebra? Well, then you shouldn't become a child psychology major. Because here's what's going to you. Here's here's ultimately what's driving your desire. You're lazy. You don't want to try hard. Now, what's going to end up happening, because you're lazy, you think, oh, the finish line is getting my bachelor's degree in child psychology. And then I was just the kind of psychologist, you talk to the children, yay, talk to the children. I like children. Hang on, I'm going to merge here. Oh, fuck, really? People, do you know how? Oh, yeah, of course, we got to have a fucking convoy of construction trucks. Look at this. I'm by the Mall of America, by the way. People say, where are you, Captain? I'm by the Mall of America. If that's what the sky looks like at this moment in time, by the Mall of America. <laughs> All right, let's sneak it behind this guy. Yeah, we go. Anyway, uh, so the the underlying drive for you to uh, <laughs> choose child psychology as a major is because you're lazy. Now you're going to get a bachelor's degree and you're going to stop because you're lazy, and you're not going to go get your master's degree. And even if you do, because you'll you know. Say, well, I'm so committed to this. You're, you're still not going to. And then the hell if you're the type of person that has the quality and caliber and the temerity to get. Look that up. Temerity. It's a good word. Uh, oh, it's a turd. There we go. Let's move that back. Good. Uh, you're the type that's uh, not going to have the uh, temerity or the. Uh, damn it, it moved again. How's that? Whatever. You're not going to carry it through. You're not going to see it through. So, uh, that's one aspect of these uh, child psychology degrees. Here's the other thing. This is a, a general slight on everyone who then ends up getting their degree in the liberal arts, child psychology, or uh, even a master's. Just because you got that degree doesn't mean you're smart. You're not smart. You, it's like if I decided to major in video games, which you fucking can do nowadays, apparently. Uh, it's like if I majored in dachshunds. 
It's a, you know what? You're not intelligent. Just because you have a degree doesn't mean you're intelligent. And the number one way to tell is if it's in a liberal arts field, unless it's mathematics or some of the traditional science-based uh, liberal arts field. <clears throat> uh, so knock it off with the attitude. And this is for you young girls who are 17 or 18 and try to figure out what you want to major in. This is for the 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, all the way up to 35-year-old women. And men, too. Men, too. Who think, well, I have a master's degree. I'm really intelligent. You're not. You majored in nothing. You majored in fluff. All you did was piss away six years of your life and Lord knows how much intuition to sit in classes listening to other unintelligent people blather on about nothingness and how bad George Bush was probably. I'm sure there's a political element to it there too. Ooh, senior fuzz. <laughs> oh, sneaky Mr. Fuzz. Thinking no one sees you hiding behind the tree. The co I call cop senior fuzz. I even have a song. It's a... Uh, the song is Close Your Eyes. Close your eyes. Da, 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 da. Close your eyes. I don't even know the lyrics to that one. So I came up at Senior Fuzz. Da, 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 da. Senior Fuzz. Sitting behind the tree. Senior Fuzz. That, that's all the lyrics I got for that one, too. Anyway, back to you guys being idiots. Uh, Knock it off with your attitude. Knock it off with your sanctimony. Oh, look how smart I am. I'm so, you're not. Our president, Barack Obama, he's not smart. That That's the biggest thing right there. Oh, he's the smartest man in the Why? Because he has a law degree? Because he has an international relations degree? That's nothing. It's fucking nothing. Not a sign of intelligence. It's a sign that you wasted. You spent a lot of time jumping through hoops. That's what it is. So, you know, for all of you, you, you're not, you're not, you're no smarter than a plumber. Matter of fact, the plumber's probably smarter than you because they're like, hey, I make more money for less education. Two years apprenticeship? Hell, I don't need an apprenticeship. I just got to go and work, learn the skill. Well, when's this coming up real quick? Boy, everyone's speeding today. So, yes, please. So, ladies, all you younger girls, and this applies to the boys, too. God damn it. This applies to the boys too. Don't major in stupid shit, okay? You're just, you're just gonna waste your money, you're gonna waste your time. Then on top of it, for those of you who do get your degree in this worthless shit and get a master's or an advanced degrees, you're not smart. You're, you're, you're worse, you're arrogant. You think you are, but you're not. And that, trust me ladies, I've dated you. I've dated a lot of girls with their degrees, masters included, and you're not smart. I wanted the dates to end early. So why the fuck am I paying for her lunch? What the fuck is this? She said, you know, oh God, it's painful. So hopefully you've learned something today. I know that might have stung and I might have hurt your feelings, but hey, you know what? You don't have to believe me. Go, go uh, spend 80 grand on your masters in fucking uh, in, uh, early child psychology. You, you go ahead and do that. Do that. Do, just go like, be like every other girl out there. Be boring. Be the same. Don't be unique. You know, if you want to be interesting, why don't you major in IT? Why don't you become a, a, a pipe fitter? Why, why don't you do something different that will make you stand out from the rest of the girls? Because, yeah, there's nothing us men like more than another dumb broad ditz who got her masters in fucking English. Toodles.